Hello and welcome to my first Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be learning about computer science, computers in general, and along with Python, getting a better understanding of all of these three things. So, uh, computer science. Computer science is not the study of computers. Computers just help with computer science. So, computer science is actually about what can be computed using algorithms and so on. Um, we use programming languages for humans to um, compute things instead of writing in binary. And programming languages take out many redundancies while doing tasks on the computer and help us out in general. Most people who don't know programming feel like they are a slave to their computer and don't have much control. But once you learn programming, you have full control over your computer and you make the decisions. So, a basic overview of computers. So we have the input, such as a mouse, microphone, or a keyboard. And then that um, gets loaded onto the CPU, and the CPU stands for a Central Processing Unit, and that's the brain um, of the computer, so to speak, and that does all of the mathematical functions and uh, logical functions, which I will get to in another tutorial. So then we have the um, primary memory, or just memory in general, which is usually called RAM, or random access memory. And that is where the CPU draws its information from. And then, but that memory is volatile, meaning when your computer is turned off, then that is gone. So you have to have a more permanent storage called the secondary storage which in most cases is called a hard disk or hard drive, whichever you prefer. And that's permanent storage, but it's slower, so it's not the primary storage for the CPU to get information from because the transfer rate isn't as fast. So then we move on to the output, and that's the output of things. So if we put 1 plus 3, then we get 4. This would be the input, then Python would take care of the process, and this would be the output. Now, Python in general. So, Python is a high-level language, meaning that the human reader can understand it, and the computer can also understand it in a sense. Uh, the reason we have programming languages such as Python or C++, many high-level languages, is because computers are very literal, meaning that um, most uh, natural languages that humans use, humans have common knowledge, so it all makes sense. So uh, if you've seen the IBM commercial, I believe um, I shot an elephant in my pajamas. It's very ambiguous for a computer because did you shoot an elephant that was in your pajamas or were you in your pajamas while you shot the elephant? And so Python or all programming languages in general remove these ambiguities and um, are very literal. So if we say, print, sorry, hello world, this means hello world and nothing else. If something is a string, this, that is a string, it can't be anything else, and print is a built-in function. So computers are very literal, and Python is also an interpreted language as opposed to a compiled language, meaning that Python, it literally reads line for line of what you have, everything that um, 
that you have in this. This is called the Python interpreter. This is where you can interact. Uh, it's a programming environment. And so the other is compiled, like C++, which Windows, which I'm currently running as my operating system, is written in. And so the program can be compiled once, and then it is very, it's much faster. So, so games are compiled. Anything you see with a .exe file is compiled. Um, but interpreted languages make for a much more interactive environment and is easier for beginners because it allows for more error and um, easier to fix mistakes and debug in uh, general. Not saying that C++ doesn't have its advantages, just Python is easier for a beginner along with its simplicity. <coughs> So this should wrap it up for my first tutorial. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you later.